Lots of people think that eating well or eating healthily is about eating bland and miserable and boring foods, but actually I want to show you that you can still enjoy really hearty comfort foods. So I'm going to make the cottage pie from my new book, Nourish and Glow, The 10 Day Plan. So first up, I'm just going to saute an onion, some celery and some garlic in a little bit of olive oil. I've just got one onion finely diced. While that's just softening, I'll just quickly chop this celery. I don't have fancy knife skills. I don't think you really need to for home cooking. Pop that in. And then I'm going to do three cloves of garlic. And then I'm going to add a chopped red pepper. Okay, I'm just going to push that all to one side of the pan and quickly brown off my mince. I like to use as few pans as possible. So now that mince is just starting to cook through, I'm going to bring it all together and add some tomato puree. And then I've got a bay leaf, some sprigs of thyme. You can put them all in as they are. Fish them out later. And then I've got some lentils. Now, if you're a vegetarian or vegan, you can just skip the meat and just make a lentil version, which I've done in the book. So just bring all of that together. And then I'm gonna add some water. You can use stock if you want a richer flavor. This needs about 10 minutes to cook down. Cover it with a lid. Meanwhile, steam the sweet potato and the carrots. Just chop them roughly and pop into a steamer. Cook those until they're tender, about 20 to 25 minutes. So the sauce is almost done. It just needs a few more minutes to reduce with the lid off. My carrot and sweet potato is nicely steamed. I'm just going to give it a quick mash. Look at those colours. I always say to people, try and eat the rainbow, try and get a wider variety of colours, because too many people eat a really beige diet. I'm just going to add a tiny bit of olive oil to this. And season. If you've got a high-speed blender, you can get it really smooth. I quite like it a bit chunky. So that's mashed. Because I'm all about vegetables, I'm just going to add some greens. And this doesn't need to be chopped precisely, just roughly. I'm going to pop that in there. I'm just going to take that bay leaf out now. Give that a good muddle. And this doesn't even really need to cook. It just starts to wilt instantly with the heat. I'm doing a sort of upside down cottage pie starting with the mash at the bottom. And a nice portion of the meat on top. How colorful does that look? My alternative version of a cottage pie. For more recipe inspiration, make sure you subscribe.